Thank you for uh, allowing me to do the talk today. So as Philippe said, I will talk about MPL library and its interaction with Perry. So first, what is MPL? So it's a C multi-precision high performance library for the arithmetic of elliptic curves and hyperelliptic curves using cryptography. So it uh, deals with different coordinate systems and uh, other libraries can be plugged into MPL like Perry. And um, during my presentation, I will explain how it can be done. So the current development of MPL only concerns elliptic curves, but uh, hyperelliptic curve will be implemented uh, in the next version. So, uh, and the first release is expected for the for Q1 of 2006, uh, 2016. So soon, <laughs> logically. So, uh, first of all, I will um, present the different families of elliptic curves, which are supported in MPL, and I will present the overall architectures, the functionalities, and the interaction with Perry. So. Um, basically, we only work with prime fields in characteristic different for from two and three. So we support uh, Biostras curves, which is a common uh, form used for uh, elliptic curves in cryptography. Uh, we have implemented um, algorithm for projective and Jacobian coordinates. We have also added. Jacobi quartic curves and twisted Edwards curves uh, in extended projective coordinates. So I put uh, a table which, which we call the general uh, cost for addition and uh, doubling on uh, different coordinate system. This, um, this cost are, uh, can be improved. There are uh, many papers uh, which improve the cost, uh, I put it here. And in fact, for um, jacobi cartic curves in, um, in MPL, we have implemented the unified version, which is also in uh, with this computation cost. So this is the overall architecture of MPL. Uh, we can see that MPI can be divided into four modules. So first, the random number generation, which allow MPI to generate a random point of on the curves. So we have implemented uh, DRBG mechanism, like HDRBG and CTRDRBG, but you can also use directly uh, entropy or hardware generators. Uh, for multi-precision arithmetic, we have implemented our own type, named Big Uint. But as I put on my uh, slide, you can also plug other libraries like GMP and Parry. I will explain later. For field arithmetic, we have uh, uh, basically uh, FP, but also quadratic and cubic extension. And we, have, uh, we are working on those, uh, also on FP6 and FP12 to allow the support for uh, pairings on uh, elliptic curves. And finally, curve arithmetic. So as I said, uh, we support Viostras, Jacobi Quartic, and Edwards curve. But uh, MPL can also have uh, other forms of, of elliptic curves, like small going curve, for example. So in detail, so uh, for random number generation, so we have the IVG mechanism, as I said, um, which uh, respects the uh, specification uh, SP800. We can also plug other generators if uh, the user prefer to have its own implementation. Uh, for multiplication arithmetic, so uh, integer are represented as table of block like in GMP and like in, uh, in Perry. So um, the block size can be configured 
by the user typically is 64 bit, but we are working on the 32 bit, we, or we can uh, configure over over size, maybe uh, 128 bit, which can uh, be supported in uh, recent processors. So. Uh, some functions are implemented in assembly language. Um, we have the support for x86 64-bit architecture. We are, on, we are uh, working on the 32-bit architecture also, and for the on the ARM v7 architecture. Uh, concerning field arithmetic. We have uh, chosen to use the uh, Montgomery representation to do our computation. And we uh, quadratic and cubic extension are also available. Uh, for curve arithmetic, so as I said, we have Weierstrass, Jacobi quartic, and Edwards curves. For addition of Weierstrass curves, um, besides projective and Jacobian coordinates and their implementation, we also add co z addition. And um, for the scalar multiplication, we have different versions left to right, windowed, and also uh, NAF uh, implementation. So, how can it be possible to plug other libraries in MPL? So, basically, we have um, two generic types number and field LT, ELT, sorry. So it's, uh, they are wrapper, which point to um, our implementation using big uint or other library types and function. So the so interaction with Perry, uh, big uint and t -int types are very similar, as I said. So uh, the wrapper is very easy to implement for uh, these types. And, and, and for all functions concerning multiplication arithmetic and um, finite field arithmetic, we use, uh, for example, the Perry equivalent. So for example, for modular addition, we directly use F, FP add. So uh, this is possible in MPL because the arithmetic of elliptic curves is completely independent of the arithmetic of the finite fields which is used. So, uh, some uh, examples of the code. So, um, at compilation time, there are um, some variables which are set to one or zero to, um, to precise which library we want to use, even our own implementation, or, for example, uh, using directly pari. So, um, in fact, number can be either a big uint or a gen. And we have also macro to access uh, the different fields. So, uh, um, table of lamb, uh, size, sign, and the same for uh, the, the pari type. So, an example of a wrapper of a function. So, um, this function, so compare uh, to number, so if depending on the flag, we use even if our our implementation, for example, GMP function or directly a Perry function. So let's talk about performances. So we use this machine to do our test with uh, the last uh, stable GCC, bootstrapped, and with uh, the last stable version of Perry uh, GMP. We have done our test with NIST and void pool curves. So concerning the arithmetic of uh, finite field, we have a slowdown of about 30% using our gen, um, including MPL, instead of our implementation. And in fact, it um, may be due to the management of the stack, but we had to manage um, in HPL. Could you profile the code for your bench, for instance, to see which, function, which query functions were responsible? In fact, uh, when I do the bench, I have um, some uh, jury pile, 
instruction at the end of a certain function. And, yes. In fact, if I um, remove this jerry pile function, there is a, a little slowdown. But if I put, okay. So work is in progress to improve uh, these performances. So uh, we, we have done comparison with L function and FPE function, which uh, deals with arithmetic of uh, points of elliptic curves. So we, in general, we have we are better than Perry uh, alone, and our version with Biguint is uh, even better. So uh, what we can uh, we mark is that uh, the, the results are better for addition and doubling when they are um, bench alone. For um, scalar multiplication, the results are um, less good, but even better. And in fact, um, we expect to have um, better results because the only version which is tested is a naive implementation of the scalar multiplication. And um, when, um, when we have large curves, like uh, this NIST curves, the difference between Perry and MPL is becoming larger. So to conclude, so MPL is a high performance library which allows to deal with different coordinate systems and families of curves. You can plug in MPL over libraries like GMP and Perry, and it can be seen as a test, pl test platform to um, test if uh, a family of a different family of curves can be added in Perry, for example, or um, over coordinate si systems or over implementation of addition and doubling. So, work in progress. We have uh, ARM v7 architecture, which is uh, done by uh, another engineer at Institut Fourier, and uh, the finalization of the integration of the Paris library. Thank you for your attention. Yes, when the, when the MPL will be available, there will be uh, the source code of the bench test and oh, all the stuff. But even before? Yes, we before we can, uh, <laughs> we can discuss it. Yes, time. we can provide the source code. In the results? In the results, yes. Yes. Just to be sure, I understand correctly. So the big win implementation is from GMP. No, it's our implementation. Okay. So how does it compare to the GMP implementation? We have also a bench uh, for this in MPL, and um, for basically addition and subtraction, we have um, we have uh, like GMP. For multiplication, we are we are better, and for um, division and. That's it in crypto size. 
Is there a limit for the bit size for these inputs? Uh, no, there is no limit. Uh, so you're better than GMP also in the asymptotic range? Yes. Uh, no. no. <laughs> we have done the bench test uh, up to um, 640 bits okay. because it's um, the size used in uh, elliptic curve screen tomography. <laughs> Uh, we use a uh, MPZ function, yeah. yes, for the arithmetic stuff. And so, what kind of uh, reduction do you do? Uh, you use the MPZ motor? Yes. Okay. Only for um, um, the um, multiplication and the exponentiation. Uh, GMP has its own function, which uh, done multiplication and reduction in one function, so it's um, it's faster. But uh, for the other stuff, uh yeah, it would be interesting also to see the GMP times. Yes. Yes. Do you under or plan to under the no prime magnitude? For for the moment, we we prefer to finish. Uh, all the stuff concerning prime field, and after maybe we will uh, take it to account uh, binary field. Yes. Just a comment, so it would be also interesting to compare with uh, GMP ECM, uh, which implement uh, also a specialized, uh, uh, very highly tuned uh, arithmetic for uh, this mm. Okay. So what's your conclusion? What's the best model for <coughs> to use? <laughs> no, but for some specific uh, Best model of elliptic curves? Yes, Prim Edwards or Beaufort or Jacqueline. Uh, in, in fact, there are mainly two groups, I think, pro Edwards and pro Jacobi Quartic. Of, uh, so, uh, they both are in have good computation cost, and in fact, it's uh, up to the user to choose uh, which curves it prefer to use. For Edwards, you're assuming uh, a <coughs> crypto choice of parameters, like uh, some of the parameters of the curve have to be very small, for instance. No. Or it's just arbitrary. It's arbitrary. So you're not just checking the curve. Mm. Thank you.